All right, welcome back to Chief Flower Radio. This is your boy, Brasco Green. I didn't even introduce myself at the beginning of the show. That's interesting. <laughs> but uh, Brasco Everybody Green. Everybody knows you, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, sitting here with Marilyn Normal, got Chris Bede here. Hey, what's, what's up? We're talking a little bit about Marilyn Normal itself, and now we're going to kind of lean into what's going on as far as Marilyn. It's, uh, Smoke something. Kind of taking place during the... Um, Medical Maryland's Medical Cannabis Commission and their decision on ranking certain uh, dispensaries and so forth. There's been a lot of turmoil, um, you know. As we every, it seems like every step we take to get closer, we take two steps back, you know. And that's been kind of the scenario. So, I mean, what have you been hearing about this whole situation? So, I guess basically, in I guess in a nutshell, um, he had financial holdings in some medical marijuana dispensaries and didn't disclose this while he was also working on the bill to um, you know open these medical marijuana dispensaries and he kind of had an inside scoop and it was kind of like you know who you knew and, and while it wasn't technically illegal it wasn't very ethical right <laughs> you know and you're, so. and you're talking referring to Dr. Dan or I'm sorry, yes, yes. Dr. Dick Man uh, Morheim, yes. yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, and that was that was something that came about. I've seen, you know, from the Baltimore Sun, the Washington Post, how it was, you know, he was such an advocate. You know, I actually had attended one of the meetings with Marilyn Normal mm-hmm. um, where he actually uh, spoke to everyone and kind of, you know, just gave us the rundown of how it's, you know, such a great idea to have this program in place and, how it's going to be, you know, so beneficial for patients to have access. And, um, you know, lo and behold, the story comes out at the end of the day that he was also in business with some of the, yeah. you know, those companies. Um, Doctor's yeah. Orders, LLC, actually, <laughs> is the name of the company that um, he's so yeah, actually with. So it was, it, was, it was interesting enough that, you know, because of the simple fact that, hey, we're already fighting for legalization and trying to get the medical marijuana program implemented. And, you know, it's kind of like, a, you know, I guess some people may see it as a slap in the face. Yeah, but yeah I mean, I'm knocking him. He was, I mean, he was definitely an ally. He helped us out and everything. Yeah. But, I mean, he should have disclosed that is a thing, but I mean, of course, if he did, did disclose it, then we all be pissed. So, <laughs> well, that's <laughs> true. Happen. That's true. But it was kind of, it's kind of one of those things that everybody will forget about, and then it's going to be like, well, and then he makes millions of dollars off this, and yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, this is one of those things. I mean, people probably you know are already at like, okay, who Doctor Who, but yeah, yeah. Um, it's one of those things. If you are involved in this, it's kind of like, wow, that's pretty interesting. But yeah, you're right. He definitely was a big advocate and did a lot to push, uh, you know, the bill um, 881 across as well for the program to be actually implemented for medical cannabis. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, despite, to your point, you, you know, as far as the full disclosure, it was mentioned that he actually didn't have to disclose the client. Uh, he did inform that he was going to go into a consultant role. Yeah. Uh, but, yep. you know, he didn't disclose I guess the technically client. right now it's still an, an unpaid role, but it could go into it. said it could go into a paid role as soon as, um, you know, they had everything up and running and all that, which, you know, a, a active role would be like a board member or something like that. So he'd probably get paid. So do you feel like, you know, (laughs) is this still someone, you know, voters should support? You know, I mean, I mean, yeah, he's still active um, in his district. And I mean, honestly, I mean, you have to pick your demons, I guess, with politics. So if you want to still support him and he still supports marijuana, I mean, that's cool. If not, I mean, that's to breach your trust and don't support him. Like, I'm not going to tell you to vote for him, but... I'm just trying to tell you what has happened kind of thing. So, yeah, so, yeah definitely check this guy out, Dr. Dan Morheim. And yeah. he's uh, 11th District. That's Owings Mills, Ricerstown. Yeah. You know, um, he's a great guy. I, you know, I, and that's my opinion because I actually had the opportunity to meet him. Um, you know, I was kind of shocked.